to higher ground and signal your location. I see you. Approaching now. Check it out. Got some smoking fresh Nazi battle robots for you. Big opportunity for some very important scientific research and so forth. Hey! Who's? Oh! Shoshana, look who's here, Mr. Shimshin Blaskovich. What have you done to me, Yingle? What have you done? 
I've been so absorbed with this artifact you brought into my attention. Absorbed and angry. You see, the Das Yichet engineers that made it called it the God Key, a term that only a complete and utter schmuck would accept it at face value because first, it's not a key. I mean, I, I don't see a key here. More important, its actual purpose, I don't know what its actual purpose is! Makes me very angry. <sighs> All right. Just sits there in the helm asking for Enigma codes. What the fuck is an Enigma code? Nazi commanders carry them. Top secret encrypted information. That is what Signorina Sigrun say. Mm -mm, I don't trust that Nazi girl, brother. Well, bene. Eh? But if she's right, that terminal could help us locate top Nazi commanders. We've never been able to do that before. Yeah, I don't know, man. The girl is Frau Ingrid's own damn daughter. I know say I like her, but the information could be useful. Mm -mm. Should check out this Enigma machine everyone's so jazzed up about. Greetings. Oh, William, I wish we could spend some time alone, but we're so close to New Orleans. I just hope it's not too late. about this resistance leader named Horton. Horton? Horton. Ton. Yeah? Window sill. Umbrella. Horton. Yeah. Horton and his crew are holed up in the New Orleans ghetto. Now, this man has important connections to the remaining fragments of resistance all over the U.S. So, Blazkowicz, I need you to go in there and recruit this man to our cause, you dig? Now, it ain't gonna be easy. The Nazis built this great fucking wall around New Orleans. Heavily armed guard towers, and the coastline is riddled with mines. Impossible for the U-boat to navigate. But you know what? 
fuck of it. Because we got something else. security tower located there in Lake Bourne. Deactivate the mines obstructing the channel to Lake Pontchartrain. Then, we sail this boat into the city and bring all surviving souls on board. you to make it to the other side of the Great Wall. Look for any kind of opening that will grant you passage to the inside of the wall. Christ, Captain. Not much sign of civilian life from up here. I hope we're not too late.
Blaskowitz. Head for the old American bank building. That's where Horton and his group should be holed up. Find them. Persuade them to join our cause. The American bank. What's a dollar worth these days? Guarantee your health 
and safety. Comply with the inspection officers, or you will be rewarded with food and water. Have a nice day. Shortcut through this building.
Should get to work on upgrading my weapons.
get across to the other side. Maybe I can make use of that overhead crane.
up and running. are disabled. Wyatt is scouting ahead. <sighs> Just had a big fight with the Nazis. Barely made it. William? Don't know if this is normal, but I think the pregnancy is making me a little, uh, you know, excited. <coughs> oh, God, is everyone listening in on this frequency? Yes. Yes. Max Hoss. Looks like I gotta blast my way out.
someone is putting up a fight. Preacher. No, this Lord, Lord, pick these rags up off the streets. Name's Horton. William J. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz. Terror belly hellfire, son. Ain't you supposed to be dead? I recovered. Well, terror belly don't mean to be rude, but what's your business around these parts? Apart from saving our sorry asses. I'm with the Christ House Circle. And we're starting a revolution. Are you now? Now this here is the last remaining haven for the cancerous growth of independent free thinkers. Spreading all over the south and yonder. Oh, we be the outcast, the poor, 
Well, everyone who ain't part of the American goddamn bourgeois. That man right there, getting yourself a drink? That's my old time friend, Paris Jack. Paris Jack is a brawler, a cutter, a true believer in anarchist. A hell of a clarin' on that player, ain't that right, Paris? Don't like to toot my own horn, except literally. The streets are quiet, Horton. Nobody's. Wait. Yes, the streets are quiet. Now that's the professor. She got them eyes, can see a speck of dirt in the cow's ass off a hundred yards. I tell you, them goddamn nasty son bitches coming here, we gonna shoot their asses out, I tell you what. Going out in a blaze of glory, hallelujah! You got a lot of good people here. You should join us, we could always use more good people. How you reckon to start this revolution of yours, Terror Billy? Terror Billy? Holy shit, it's him. Didn't that Nazi bitch kill you? Seems our friend here kinda told St. Pete to go fuck himself. He's with the Crossell Circle, walking list. I know who he is. Oh, damn it. Here they come. Paris, I'm feeling a little jittery. Do you mind taking the edge off? Let me see what I can do about that. You know, my ma always said, never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you sit right down, sit there, Billy, and drink up. What in the world the fuck is this shit? Old Horton special. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Now listen, Terry Billy, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Uh, the world has sank into the crapper, and all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the vortex suck it all down. Didn't expect your belly to be quite so yellow. We've been fighting for a revolution since long before them Nazis came here. We were the first to start build a civil rights movement to advocate equality for everyone. You know the concept of civil rights, Terror Belly? No, you don't. You're just a jarhead, ain't you? Buddy, I laid my life on the line for freedom, justice, and the American way while you and your bohemian friends were passing out Bolshevik propaganda and opposing the draft on every street corner. What good is your fucking equality? You can't muster the backbone to stick up for your people while the coyote's scratching at your front door. We stood up against the imperialist war machine of the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street. It was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their coffers. It worked their sons bleeding on the beaches. No, they draft people like you for their dirty work while they's watching the dollars roll in. You're the pawn, the patsy of the tankerous men in Marble Mansion. Well, I see through that shit. Decided not to be a party to it. And yet here you are, guns in hand, shooting Nazis just like me. The difference is you come late to the party. Perhaps your kind had gotten their asses in gear, we'd have won the war. Don't spill that shit on the table, Hawk. We'll lead right through it. This will get you drunk there, Billy. You upstanding lackey of the establishment, Jake. Listen, pal. I ain't got time for your horse shit. You gotta make the call. Give up and die or step the fuck up. I ain't want to argue with you, Terry, Billy. You're too tired to fight. You tired? Man, fuck you. I got kids on the way. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes. So what's it gonna be, you hillbilly, degenerate moonshiner, Bolshevik cowards, goddamn traitors? Lord, Lord, I ain't never seen a man remain coherent after more than one shot old Horton special. I like you. Like your gumption. All right, let's start this revolution. Hit it! Paris been working on this puppy for over a month now. Hot damn. How'd you tame it? Pop the hood, pour some wires, that about it. He's a quick learner, Paris. Always figures out what's what. So, what's your plan? You're gonna ride it, cowboy. Yes, sir, you're gonna ride on out there, draw off the Nazi fire, while we make our way down to the harbor with all those who survived the purge. Gotcha. All hinges on that boat of yours showing up. It'll be there. Oh, easy now, easy. There you go, just mind the temper. Oh, you better get up here. Nazis swarming in like flies on ship. Check, check. All set there, Billy. Now again! Puppy can do.
Anya. Come in, Anya. Do you read? William, I read you. What's happening? You okay there, darling? I'm doing... Uh, fine. <laughs> I'm trying to regroup with Wyatt. I've contacted Grace. The U-boat is on its way in. And we are on our way to Lakeview District. Listen, don't do anything reckless. You stay safe. I'll be fine. Anya out. Horton, what's your status? Round up the last of the people and fixing to leave. We'll make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down dearly. Major, I can get their attention. Next stop, Lakeview District. Here. We're standing on top of the Lakeview apartment building. So many of them, they just keep coming. So many Nazis. It never ends, does it, Captain? Can you dig it, man? Wyatt, out. Terror Billy, we've met up with your people on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. That ride of yours better get here soon, because we won't hold out much longer. 
Bossman, come in! Where's our boat? I don't see no boat! We're getting our butts handed to us out here! Wyatt, I read. Sorry, we're being held up. Working to resolve the problem. This is where it all ends! Grace! We need evacuation now! Get on board the U-boat. The Nazis will regroup and attack. Hurry up. Laskowitz, get your ass up on the Lakeview apartment building roof and climb on board the U-boat. We've spotted the outsmercer on the radar. It'll be here any minute. Haul ass!
Blazkowicz. All of the evacuees are on board, but we can't leave. Props are stuck in the mud. We're stranded. And the outsmercer is incoming. If it gets here before we bail, we are fucked. What about, like, the nuclear cannon? What are you talking about, Wyatt? The shockwave from the nuke could push us out to sea, man. Now that's the stupidest fucking plan I have ever heard. Set. Well, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Blazkowicz. Hop on the nuclear cannon and fire it to maximum distance. I just hope it's far enough away from us not to rupture the hull. Looks like the Alice Mercer lost track of us. Clear skies on the scope? Triangle commands it now. Using it to hunt terrorists. But in the way back, the Alice Mercer would roam from city to city, crushing any resistance. And if we ignite a revolt, you can be sure the Alice Mercer would swoop in, put an end to it, break, and say hell's fails. Are we gonna start this revolution? We need to put an end to the Alice Mercer firstly. So then we mount a surprise attack conquer the Alsmercer and use it against the Nazis. Well, the Alsmercer is protected by an automated security system called Odin. Seen it when I was up there. We'll hijack the system, find the Odin codes, and disable the fucking thing. Yeah, but that kind of information is a top military secret. Only the Oberkommando is privy to it. It's so easy, man. I've got it all figured out. Oh, yeah? After you atom bombed the bejesus out of the old Oberkommando at Roswell, the Nazis ran scared. They took all their top brass, all their top military secrets, and they reestablished the Oberkommando on Venus. Venus, the planetary body, Venus in space, man. It is cold. Up there, you're gonna need radioactive mittens. Mittens, nigga! Okay, we're just gonna fly there. We are gonna load up, and we're gonna fly. Uh -huh. Oh, man, we're just gonna take our choppers, but instead of only going so high, we are just gonna keep going straight up right into space with the mind, you know? Then we're gonna drop you off on Venus. You're gonna break into the Ober Commando, and you are gonna steal those Odin secrets from their computing machines. So, I might have a plan, too? Wyatt, do you mind? No, man. It's all good. In two days, final auditions for the role of the infamous terrorist William Terrabilly Glaskowitz take place on the enigmatic Aristat habitat on Venus. One of the hopeful actors is Jules Redfield, here getting a snack from his favorite milkshake bar in his hometown. Anya, what you thinking? William and I are going for milkshakes. Papers are all in his glove box. Yeah. What about him? Well, is he a Nazi? You a Nazi fella? <laughs> Can't even tell no more. How I look? Like a walrus. Don't forget your luggage. Remember, you are Jules Redfield, professional actor traveling to Venus to audition for the part of William Joseph Blaskovich. Now, you are summoned by personal invitation, so security should be minimal. Break a leg. Mr. 
Mr. Redfield? Mr. You, Sir Redfield? Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's me. I'm Helena, the director of this film. Apologies for the long journey, but my producer favors a safe location and has an affinity for dramatic settings. Uh, come. Oh, uh, my, my luggage. Someone will bring it for you. Come. the audition, Mr. Redfield. Now that you're all here, I ask you to prepare yourselves. You must be off book for this audition, so be sure to memorize your lines before the producer gets here. He has a volatile disposition, so be careful what you say and do in his presence. Mr. Redfield, I can't stress enough how important it is you learn these lines by heart. Your script is on the chair. I will be with you shortly. Can't blow my cover. Better keep a low profile. Need to pretend acting for those so inclined. Your agent got you on the short list for this? Well, are those scars real? Casting director saw me on a mystery show. Thought I had to write. Gotta get these lines down. Yeah, There's some this is some real tongue twisters. I'm not good with auditions. Yeah, I always get so nervous. Weird, though, no? Why Venus? What's wrong with L.A.? Producer gotta be a real big cheese. Uh, Muhammad must go to the mountain type deal. Hmm. Any stage experience? What was your name? Roland, was it? Ronald. Ronald. Nah. I used to do uh, broadcasts uh, when I was younger. Nowadays, it's all pictures and TV. Yeah, I thought about doing film acting, but I just love the theater. I'm not sure I even want this role. It's not like real acting unless you're on a stage in front of a live audience. You know what I mean. Sure thing, Chief. Unbelievable. I will murder your dirty race, too. Oh, come on, Johnny Gates. <laughs> Better than this. <clears throat> I'll murder. Oh. <clears throat> I will murder your dirty race, too. Oh, Jesus, you moron. supposed to remember this shit. I gotta write this down. Places, places, quickly! <coughs> Hide Hitler! 
Vorsprechen. Es sind Schauspieler. Es tut mir leid, meine Nachricht hat sie wohl nicht erreicht. Was? Und besser konnten wir nicht finden. Keiner von denen sieht dem Kerl auch nur ähnlich. Ja, 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 das kriegen Gott wir. Noch mal. Das kriegen wir mit Schminke hin, mein, mein Führer. Oh ja, Schminke. Mhm. Gut. Das ist magisch. Kunst der Verkleidung und äh, Täuschung, ja. Ähnlich wie Spione. Vielleicht ist er ein Spion unter Ihnen. Sie haben sicher alle mein Buch gelesen. Oh, yes, mein Führer. And my children have read it too. I loved it, Mr. Hitler. Super good. Mr. Hitler. Wenn Sie mich ansprechen, sagen Sie mein Führer. Verstanden? Haben Sie keinen Respekt vor Autorität? Ihre Worte gewähren Einblick in einen höchst verraterischen Geist. I am so sorry, mein Führer. Sind Sie denn ein Idiot? No, mein Führer. Sind Sie ein verkleideter Schurke, ein Jude? Ein verräterischer Jude? No, no, mein Führer. I'm... I'm from Arizona. <lacht> Schafspelz, konspirierende, lügende, niederträchtige Juden. Ich erkenne sie schon von Weitem. Wenn Sie mein Buch gelesen haben, wissen Sie, dass ich die Wahrheit kenne. Und wer die Wahrheit auf seiner Seite hat, der gewinnt immer. So konnte ich die Welt von den Juden reinigen und so konnte ich die minderwertigen Kommunisten in die Knie zwingen. Oh, so ging das. Ich habe ihn vernichtet. William oh, Josef Glatzkowitsch. Oh. Oh. Ah. Helene. Mein absolutes Meisterstück, das Jahrhundert Epos und mein künstlerisches Erbe. Wer mein Drehbuch liest, der wird die zahllosen Stunden zu schätzen wissen, die ich aufgewendet habe, damit jede Szene, jeder Zeile, jeder Silber fehlerfrei ist. Bravo, mein Führer, bravo! <lacht> Mutti, mir ist so kalt. Weg! Weg! Sie! Sie spielen die Szene. Helene, zusammen mit ihm. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. Nice woman. You monster! What are you going to do to me? Uh... I will 
save and marry you? <laughs> so many German innocent lives you have killed, but the German race will rise again! Shit. I will... I will save your merry people, too. Ach, widerlich. Absolut widerlich. Sie haben offensichtlich keine Ahnung, wer dieser Mann ist. supposed to remember this shit. I gotta write this down. vorsprechen. Es sind Schauspieler. Es tut mir leid, meine Nachricht hat sie wohl nicht erreicht. Was? Konnten wir nicht finden? Keiner von denen sieht dem Kerl auch nur ähnlich. Ja, 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 das kriegen Gott wir. Noch mal. Das kriegen wir mit Schminke hin, mein, mein Führer. Oh ja, Schminke. Mhm. Gut. Das ist magisch. Kunst der Verkleidung und Enttäuschung, ja. Ähnlich wie Spione. Vielleicht ist ja ein Spion unter Ihnen. Sie haben sicher alle mein Buch gelesen. Oh, yes, mein Führer. And my children have read it, too. I loved it, Mr. Hitler. Super good. Mr. Hitler. Wenn Sie mich ansprechen, sagen Sie mein Führer. Verstanden? Haben Sie keinen Respekt vor Autorität? Ihre Worte gewähren Einblick in einen höchst verraterischen Geist. I am so sorry, mein Führer. Sind Sie denn ein Idiot? No, mein Führer. Sind Sie ein verkleideter Schurke, ein Jude? Ein verräterischer Jude? No, no, mein Führer. I'm... I'm from Arizona. <lacht> Schafspelz, konspirierende, lügende, niederträchtige Juden. Ich erkenne sie schon von Weitem. Wenn Sie mein Buch gelesen haben, wissen Sie, dass ich die Wahrheit kenne. Und wer die Wahrheit auf seiner Seite hat, der gewinnt immer. So konnte ich die Welt von den Juden reinigen und so konnte ich die minderwertigen Kommunisten in die Knie zwingen. Oh, so ging das. Ich habe ihn vernichtet. William oh, Josef Glatzkowitsch. Oh. Oh. Ah. Helene. Mein absolutes Meisterstück, das Jahrhundert-Epos und mein künstlerisches Erbe. 
Wer mein Drehbuch liest, der wird die zahllosen Stunden zu schätzen wissen, die ich aufgewendet habe, damit jede Szene, jeder Zeiler, jeder Silber fehlerfrei ist. Bravo, mein Schüler, bravo! <lacht> mit ihm. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. What the hell did I write? And you are a Nazi whore. You monster! What are you going to do to me? I will rape and murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed, but the German race will rise again! Shit. I will murder your dirty race too. <coughs> Die Worte waren richtig, ja. Aber sie haben anscheinend nicht die mindeste Ahnung von der Psyche eines Mannes wie William Josef Blatzkowitsch. Wie können Sie sein, was Sie nicht verstehen? Sie. Spielen Sie die Rolle. Füllen Sie, füllen Sie, füllen Sie die Rolle. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. And you're a Nazi whore. You monster. What are you going to do to me? I will rape you. And I will murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed. But the German race will rise again. And I will murder your dirty race, too. <laughs> Sie könnten von ihm lernen. Ich gebe Ihnen, was Sie brauchen, um den Geist dieses Irren zu verstehen, dieses dreckigen Untermensch. Oh, ich kannte ihn. In- und auswendig. Und darum konnte ich ihn gefangen nehmen und ihn der Gerechtigkeit übergeben. Äh, oh, mein Gott. Mein Gott, habe ich Hunger. William Josef Platzkowitsch. Aufgewachsen in Mesquite, Texas. Mischlingskind eines Verkäufers und einer polnischen Jüdin. Die Mutter wurde vom Vater ausgeliefert, starb in einem Vernichtungslager in Neumexiko. Selbst als Erwachsener waren seine geistigen Fähigkeiten noch die eines Kindes. Und tatsächlich, als wir nach seiner Exekution aufschnitten, konnte man sehen, dass er Jude ist. Helene, machen Sie weiter. Ich bin müde. Aspirants, as you know, this role is very physical. William Josef Bloskowitz was not a man of intellect, he was a man of action. The scene takes place right before the scene you did earlier. Bloskowitz is about to plant the bombs that will massacre the German children in the orphanage. But first, he must eliminate the brave soldier standing guard outside the school in a brutal fight scene. Mr. Le Llewellyn Irving? Llewellyn Ewing. Yeah. Why don't you start? Ivali, 
Mage improvise a fight sequence. And once the guard is eliminated, you finish the scene by reading the lines from the cue card, exactly as written. Place it. And action. Oh, 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 oh stop, stop. Oh, God, I, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. I, I, I need to take a break. Line, please. Yeah, I, I need a doctor. Line. Okay. Your bravery is no match for a Neanderthal like myself. Besides, I only know how to fight in a dirty manner. And now, to kill all the innocent children, Germany's future. Ha 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 Mr. Redfield, please. The floor is yours. Mr. Redfield, would you step into the box? Mr. Redfield, would you step into the box? Und action! Dann mach es mal richtig, du wichtig Tor. Unpack, Mr. Redfield. Was zur Hölle ist das? yourself, Adolf. I'm leaving here with your secret Odin codes. Then we steal the Ausmerzer, take out General Engel, and show the American people what revolution looks like. Ah! <laughs> 